G'day mates, today what we're doing is something a little bit out of the ordinary, a little bit different. You can see here I have in front of me a sheepskin. You probably can tell what it is if you've seen these before. Furry side underneath and uh, internal bits on top. This sheep was, uh, was lamb actually, was butchered only a few hours ago. So you need to get on fairly quickly with regards to preserving the hide. I'm not actually ready to tan it just this very instant. Uh, but I am starting the first stage right now. Uh, my dog is over there in the distance chewing on, zoom in a little bit, chewing on the skull and uh, probably a bit of brain in there as well just to make sure that we are fully reusing or fully using everything in this animal. Now the main step here is salting the skin. What I've done is grabbed a whole bunch of cheap crappy cooking salt, Australian cooking salt. You just grab whatever is around, whatever brand is cheap and plentiful trying to uh, minimize the number of additives in it you don't want a whole bunch of other stuff just get basic basic salt and all i've done let me just zoom out slightly as i get in closer all i've done is basically rub it on now i won't touch this because i need to handle my camera immediately out my phone immediately after this but all i've done is effectively rubbed it in and i'll use one hand i suppose effectively rubbed it in and uh, you can see it's sort of all wet and gooey at the moment what it's doing is actually pulling the moisture out of the lamb skin and probably out of the air a little bit as well and what it's doing is basically killing any bacteria that might want to grow on it you need to make sure to get it and really rub into any nooks and crannies around the edges here uh, it's hard to sort of focus with the camera but we'll keep going rub it in sort of the, all the little nooks crannies and edges along as you go and uh, you want to leave this for a bit i've already left this one for probably about 15 or 20 minutes which is about as long as you want to leave it not too much longer uh, make sure that you've I think I might have probably missed that area just a little bit. Just make sure we've got a lot of salt. We want salt covering all of it. We'll actually come back and we'll take all the fat and the other bits off at a later, a later step. But that is the, the first step there. I've salted that and that will keep me going for a couple of weeks. Now what I want to do is effectively fold the sheepskin up. I'm going to fold it along lengthways. That's along the spine of the animal. That's where the head was. You can see all the bits of blood. Humanely butchered, of course. You don't want to let the animal suffer. And uh, oh, look at that! It looks it got caught in something, in a bit of a uh, bit of blackberry. I don't have gloves, unfortunately, so that's going to be a little bit difficult to pull out. Either way, we're going to fold this over so that the skin is all nicely protected. Don't mind the blood. That's uh, we've all got blood in us. If you don't, then you've got bigger problems. So you're going to fold all this over, and then I'm going to sort of fold it back onto itself a little bit to try and make a nice. Uh, tuck that under there, try and get this all done like that and then we're going to fold it up and make a nice neat little package. Pardon the, the shoddy camera work here, I will do need to uh, probably work on getting a better setup but for now this is what I have. I'm going to fold this up, don't worry about the leaves and all that stuff at the moment, that's really uh, only a minor concern, that will come off at a later date when I brush it and, uh, and wash it. But uh, main thing, you can see I've, I've kept it off the grass where possible because the salt will kill your grass. Here I'm just doing it in a garden, sort of away from the base of that tree. But uh, raised up so that the salt here, even if it does kill sort of the little weeds and stuff growing, it'll just save me from having to weed them out at a later date. What I'm going to do then is actually put it into a sealed container. This will keep any animals out of it as well as keeping it cool and out of the sun. The important part here is that... I've, put, I've just used bits of firewood. You can use rocks or, or a little uh, something to keep it off the bottom. The main part is that all that moisture that's being pulled out will continue to come out and needs to sort of have a place to accumulate down the bottom here. Now, a little bit of water where I washed it out, not particularly relevant. Now, the main thing is that, that all the water will pool down the bottom there. And you can get a fair bit. It really does depend on the animal itself. Now... Uh, get this in I'm trying not to lose too much of that salt that beautiful salt that I've put all over it but we'll throw that in and minimize all the little bits and sticks that have stuck to the outside of it again I will take care of that at a later date when we wash it but this is only temporarily storing it until I'm in a better a process to uh, properly process it I'm in a bit of better position to process it anyway I'm gonna whack that in there that'll keep any predators away from it and uh, this is sort of Phase one, I'll be back with phase two at a later date. Take care.